Avilio. Welcome, wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. Ruby was an American witch who worked at Makuza, who had blonde hair, fair skin, and often had a smirkish smile. While she was dating an ill-tempered wizard, he got mad at her, and when she told him no, there was an altercation between the two, and he threw her to the floor as she reached for her wand. Ruby's wand broke in the altercation, and the wizard disapparated, never to be seen again. Ruby picked herself up, and the next day she got her wand repaired, though it was not the same physically. Later, Ruby started a relationship with Sam the Obliviator, who also worked for the Magical Congress of the United States of America. Unbeknownst to her, Sam was also romantically involved with another woman named Cicely, who was only mentioned and was not shown on screen in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Queenie Goldstein, a legitimate's, uncovered Sam's infidelity, and reading his mind, she used that information to convince Sam not to wipe the memory of nomad Jacob Kowalski and allow her to do it. And in return, she'll never tell Ruby about his affairs with Sicily. Sam unhinged, knowing that Queenie knew about his personal affairs agreed and walked away. Queenie kept her promise to Sam. Ruby was portrayed by Stephanie Aspen in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, but she was not listed in the end credits. Her character, I decided, had a hard time with relationships. And you know me, a named character shown on screen without a wand? I just had to make a non-official wand for her. Here is my non-official wand for Ruby. Made from sycamore with a nasal whisker core, this wand measures in at 13.5 inches in total length. A wand of sycamore is eager for new experiences as its ideal owner has to be curious and adventurous in which Ruby often was with her dating. Being paired with a nasal whisker, its attributes are unknown. But it is known that Ruby was able to cast several required charms while being employed at Makuza. I decided that Ruby's wand needed to be reddish in color to go with her name. It contrasts with her daily gray and black uniform at Makuza but it is slender to fit within her uniform's wand pocket. The wand was repaired after it was broken in a confrontation with one of her ex-boyfriends. The handle is no longer uniformly straight as the shaft but it is still capable of casting spells without any backlash. It is a constant reminder to Ruby to remain ever vigilant. This is my non-official wand for Ruby, who works at Makuza. Not much is known about Ruby besides that she works at Makuza and she likes the date. Just looking at her picture, I tried to imagine what type of wand would she have. It is the late 1920s and many things were more decorative and ornate than they are now. So I needed something that was not too flashy but would work for Ruby. 
I see her as a fairly honest witch, but she will do what it takes to get things done. I ended up taking an older wand that I made before that I never really liked. I wanted to sand down the shaft just to see what would happen. And while sanding, I accidentally hit the handle of the wand. And right there, on the spot, I decided to sand down the entire wand just to see what it would look like. The handle was becoming something that I could see that was made in the 1920s. I sanded and tried to clean up the handle the best I could, and I knew it was not going to be entirely straight, but that was okay. I was liking the way it looked. It had character, and as I mentioned, Ruby's wand was broken and had to be repaired. Then I decided to add some color to the wand. After I wiped the entire wand down with rubbing alcohol, I proceeded to add some color to the wand. I liked the simple coloration covering the wand. I added a little bit more color and made sure that the shaft and the handle were just a little bit different from each other. And after I sprayed a clear coat on the wand, it was finished. I hope you enjoyed this non-official wand video today. If you did, click on that thumbs up button, and while you're here, why not subscribe to my channel if you're not already doing so. I really do appreciate it, and remember to share this video with your family and all of your friends. Thank you, and have a drama-free day.